to win now about Fire to Teeter, which was the number two barbecue place for Quebec to South. I did not plan on doing this again the same way I did in my life. But it's right across the street from Suckling Bay where we were in what I did. So we'll be able to do another two. Don't expect this every city I go to. But if we could get to be two, I'd love this truck. This is very high end for any barbecue place. I mean, we have candle on it. We have outside, they actually have spider pits inside the tent, which is different. I probably wouldn't eat their name from. But inside is relatively small, but there's this huge area outside. Um, but yeah, it's a lot, a lot different ambiance, um, yeah, a lot more upscale. Right? Do you feel not fancy enough to be here? Well, it doesn't bother me at all, ever. <laughs> Look at this fanciness. As far as presentation goes, this is well presented. Probably overboard for a barbecue dish. But this is the Carolina Pig Pork. And then I got a side salad for my two sides. You get two sides is a side salad where we can get two other sides. So let's try it. looks dry, but I was thinking it in. So let's try it by itself first. Look at this, very good. It's got a, it's got a very, it's got a hint, like it was probably cooked in some sort of vinegar type sauce. But of course, I'm gonna take part. But I could just eat it just like this. It's very good. Oh my God, we're two for two. So we've got Carolina vinegar garbage meat, liquid bag. I don't know what that means. Probably mustard. It could be mustard. And then pit master, which I'm going to assume is uh, utterly sweet. It's sweet and smoky. It's a time my ribs. For uh, ribs. You know, I'm going to do this a little bit at a time. Thanks. Okay, that's the time. Right. There's that real color to that. So, I'm assuming I have it with no tomatoes, very little tomato. It's not very, very thin. All right, let's try this one. This is a pit master. And it looks like your typical barbecue sauce. So it tastes like your typical barbecue sauce. So, it is sweet and smooth. It's also very really good. Now, I don't know, but I would assume because it says gold, it gets as much. Yeah, this is my favorite. It's mushroom base, I don't have much but well, it's still very good. This place feeds Maggie the Valley instead of pizzas. This is all murdered. Um, it's, it's, yeah, this is first thoughts, this is very good. Baby, oh, I'm gonna finish it and then I'll come back. You gonna bite it and then tell me what you think? Well, tell me what you got first. Okay, I got the farm to table uh, original ribs, and the ribs are so cooked for like ever, for like a million years. 
and then there is the um, Pit Master barbecue on it. Lather it all over. I didn't do it game like that. And then I got Cajun ornament pad. <laughs> simple girl with simple needs. And then the smoked Gouda mac and cheese. Again, Fine. simple girl with simple needs. Let's see what you think. Okay. I don't like eating on camera, but okay. So don't watch. Don't watch this part. Just don't, don't watch. Don't look. It's really good. They're a little chewier than the last ribs that I had in um, Ozat. But. Yeah. They're not baby bags. Mm -hmm. They're Kansas, yeah? What's the difference? Tell them. Baby back ribs have a little less fat on them. Okay. Yeah. They're also hardier. Talking in my mouthful. They're hardier, so they're denser. They don't fall off the bone and flake as much as baby back. So how's the... It's like a country style one. So how's the texture? What do you think? Really, really smoky, and it's so good. I love smoked wood ribs. You're gonna have ribs, but gotta be smoky. They're dry rubbed and then slathered. So I mean, like, there's nothing else left, but it's made it. So let's try your other, then we'll leave you alone. All right. That is not even Yeah. Ribs are like the least sexiest thing to eat on camera. All right. Smoked food out mac and cheese. It's like mac and cheese, only really bougie. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. Good, it's perfect with my super little great wine scripture to aim on. Well, but you know what's funny because Gouda is smoked. Well, not always, but this is smoked Gouda. And then this here, which I'm not eating on camera because it's not a cage, yeah. is the Cajun corn on the tile. And Looks like you've had some of it. Yeah, it's in my tooth right now. <laughs> um, I'm enjoying it right now. And it's good. And it's, it's actually it's not as juicy as I want it to be. But the whole meal is very smart. And then we got Yankee cornbread. I'm not a Yankee. I'm a Midwestern corn-fed girl. But I am not a Yankee. I did grow up on the inch part. So we're going to try that. That's good. This whole thing's good. It's real good. It's right there. All right. I enjoyed this so much that I had a conversation with the owner. You tell him, like, you know, I see for how much the barbecue restaurant here, and I do a review on it. Right? And I usually do one for a trip. This gem I did too. I, you know, I usually ask people what they suggest, as I go tell them what they suggested. So uh, there was a place called uh, Barbecue House that was recommended, and then you guys were recommended. Because there was lots of money registered. Fine. But, but they don't matter. I went to Barbecue House for lunch because that was where I was. The guy was sick for the moment. I looked over and we were right here. Oh, that's so that's how I did it. But it, it's very, very good. Thank you very much. So, you know, tell me about the restaurant, tell me about how you make it. I'm sure. Um, it's really fine over there. He's a pit master, so he does all the smoking. Um, on the executive okay. chef, we both finished chefs for the 25 years. Um, everything was made from scratch, scratch me too. Um, and we, we just love what we do. And uh, we're 
or something? Are you guys from New York? Uh, from New York. Oh. I can't guess from the hats. <laughs> but, yeah, we live here 11 years now, but um, we also ran um, a club in Georgetown. Okay. Um, Deborah Club, Gap for sure. Actually, we were there for 11 years, and then we decided to open up our first five year at our partners. And uh, yeah, we've been here for about a year and a half. Yeah. Well, I like it. It's a lot more high end than those barbecue places. Yes. Yeah. It's a big place. So it's a nice. Oh, but it's worth it though. You can taste. I mean, it's more high end than the the, the barbecue house or whatever. But it's worth. I mean, you taste the difference. Yeah. Absolutely. Most barbecue places don't have a shit. Yeah. Most barbecue places don't have real silverware. <laughs> no. See, um, we don't need to leave a very tiny little freeze rack. Um, everything is made from scratch. Uh, our sauces are made from scratch, and they're for sale as well. Okay. Um, the Everything. Everything that's good. Well, we, we, we review barbecue places all the time in all of our travels, and he never likes them. Like, every time I get ribs, I always love, I love everything. I'm a foodie. I think it's all good. I'm from Chicago, so I love food. Thank you. Savory food, awesome. And this one never likes anything. Ever. He's always like, well, oh, you know, it's okay. And okay is like kiss of death. And I'm like, so he's going on about how much he likes this, and I like look over, and he's quietly nodding to himself. Like, you don't understand. He doesn't even feel that way about me. Nice thing to me. So, yeah, no, I mean, that's a little, for what it's worth, it's a huge compliment. Thank you for having me. You do it. It means everything. So, listen, this is why we do it right there. Look at that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You could sell it on a Swiss newsletter. It's me. Who knows? Then we made one more trip to the Beaver Barn. 